Nobody's in here. Oh. Today, we're heading to Wyoming to visit the Grand Teton National Park and Yellowstone. Be sure to take a window seat along this plane ride as it's one of the most scenic we've ever experienced. We take in the views from up above of the landscape that seems to stretch for miles, a preview of what's to come. Landed in Wyoming. We're in Jackson Hole. Woo! Look at these mountains. Oh my god, look at all the antlers. Woo. Yeah. We rented an all wheel drive RAV4. We're going to hit the road. Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and we're so excited we're in Grand Teton Park. Check out these horses. Hello, guys. We're going to take a tour of these beautiful national parks and the wildlife. We arrive just in time for sunset, where we view it from an area called Mormon Row, which includes a horse ranch. here there's so much wide open land and these mountains just appear out of nowhere they almost look like a cardboard backdrop because there's no foothills so it just looks like they appear out of nowhere and we're on this road kind of this unpaved road we pulled off the side and this is this epic view oh, it's going behind the mountain right now just peeking over the edge see the snow is still capped on these mountains but it is about 80 degrees down below the sun just set now there's kind of like this glow in the air I'm gonna go down the road a little bit the Grand Tetons sit on a fault line and were formed millions of years ago by earthquakes the Alpine-esque mountains soar above sea level at 12,000 feet. The Grand Teton is the highest peak that rises 13,770 feet. Look at this sunset over Jackson Hole, Wyoming. The land surrounding the Grand Tetons are flat plains, a stunning contrast to their soaring heights. We ride into nearby Jackson Hole, and along the way, we catch a glimpse at the full moon. And it's time for yet again, another stop off to take in the views. The Teton Range stretches out a wide 40 miles long and are some of the youngest mountains in the world. They change to a beautiful dusty blue color as the sun sets right behind them. The sun sets at a late 9 p.m. here during summer and immediately after we catch a glimpse of the full moon rising right above the highway on our way into Jackson Hole. We arrive in Jackson Hole, which has a quaint Western feel. After 9 p.m., many of the restaurants are closed, so we search for one that's still open. We're heading to dinner at Stillwater Brew House. Where do I go now? 
Our first option was closed, which led us to discover an interesting find, a Thai restaurant called Tie Me Up, which brews their own beer called Melvin Brewing. Look at all these antlers. These antlers. The town turned into quite the ghost town after 11 p.m., so it was time to hit the road and check into our accommodations. At this hour, there were hardly any cars on the road. Suddenly, we saw flashing lights behind us, and we were getting pulled over. We couldn't imagine what it could be for. Little did we know, the speed limit here changes at night to 35 due to the moose. He let us go with a warning. Do you have like a key or something? It's like we're breaking in. <laughs> okay, 312. Okay. It's very dark and woodsy here. Here we go. It's the hostel. We got bunk beds. Not much else. All good. Be sure to stay tuned and subscribe for the part two of this national park adventure.